Welcome to ECN Trade Daily Video. Before we begin, it should be noted that any advice is of a general nature only and that your personal circumstances have not been taken into consideration. Hello everyone, my name is Rob Clayton and thank you for joining me. The Australian dollar continues its upward trajectory for the seventh consecutive day, targeting the range around 67.20 to 25. And as we can see, as we challenge this level, there is further potential to the upside. And if so, could see the movement up towards the region, the 66.75 and even higher to 67.25.35. Any pullback, I anticipate support around this key level, which is the 60 day moving average around 65 and a half. Traders are no doubt proceeding cautiously ahead of the key reports, including the US Consumer Price Index and significant Federal Reserve publication, the minutes from the previous meeting. Both expected to influence interest rate forecasts, and along with that, the March Consumer Price Index data reading is expected to be released on Wednesday and showing an uptick to 3.4%, just above the Fed's 2% target. Then on Thursday, we've got the Producer Price Index PPI report. Given the high sensitive data this week, traders are advised to assess key levels and adjust their strategies to effectively manage risk, especially considering the imminent US data releases. A little bit mixed on the euro, however, still holding its upward trajectory, which is seen around 109 to 110. The dollar index, however, remains flat at 104.15, with the, all eyes on the US CPI, PPI, and the Fed's March minutes, and also the monthly US federal budget, I feel there will be a lot of volatility coming and so still be on your guard when it comes to trading and adjust your risk management accordingly. Any pullback for the euro? I anticipate support from 107.75 with a base holding around 107.10.25. This pattern for dollar yen continues to go sideways now for the 16th consecutive day and still no indication of a break above the 34 year high around 152. In light of the technicals with divergence and the declining indicator that supports the MACD, I feel that eventually we will get a snap to the downside and therefore a break of 150 and a half should give further indication to 149 or lower. But further evaluation to the technicals is necessary if we do reach 150 and a half to see if it does support the move down in case we get a sharp bounce like we did previously three and a half days ago. Sterling still maintains its upward bias and did stab at the 127 level and I still feel there is further upside to come and therefore looking towards 127 to about 128 as initial targets. Gold books further gains to the upside and I'm getting a little bit concerned on how the market's actually playing in terms of the fact there is divergence from the RSI and an overheated ADX could see a significant downturn. But that being said, now that we've cleared 2,350, I am neutral. With that being said, traders are advised to assess key levels and adjust their strategies effectively to their risk management, especially considering the sensitive of the intimate US data about to be released. Wrapping up with all, the market reversed its gains from the beginning of the week and now looks slightly weaker and could see a further downward play towards 84.20 and a break there will give us a move to around $81 a barrel. Any upside attempts should find resistance around 86.60. So that's a wrap. Thank you for joining me and as always, look out for the interest report and I hope you enjoy the great start to the day. 